So I have a project in front of me here with some drums, bass, acoustic guitars, a bunch of electric guitars, and some vocals. Let's hear what it sounds like now. So as you can tell, there's a bunch of electric guitars I want to mix into this project. Right now it sounds pretty flat, with no reverb, delay, or any EQ on these guitars. So we're going to add a bunch of that to make it sound more finished and more professional. We'll start with the two guitars over here, guitar left and guitar right. Let's mute the others, and let's just hear these. Let's hear them in solo. Now, because of so many guitars in this song, I'm not going to wash these out with delay or reverb, but I do want to EQ these a bit. And I'll do it together. So I'm going to make a folder first. I'll make a new track, Control T on the PC, Command T on the Mac. We'll make it into a folder that contains guitar left and guitar right. We'll name it guitars. And now, any effects we put on this track, we're going to hear over here. So I'm going to start with an EQ. Type EQ into the filter. We'll use re EQ because I know you have it as it comes with Reaper. Double click it, and it looks like this. I'm going to start off with on the first band, we'll change it to a high pass filter to remove any low end rumble that these guitars might have. It's not too much, so I put it at about 70 hertz. Then I'm gonna remove any mud in the lower mids. We can adjust the bandwidth or how wide this EQ is. Hold on the shift key to adjust that. This is basically the meat of the guitar, or how full it sounds. I'll pull it down a bit, and then we'll boost the top end, or the edginess or bite of the guitar. Now for electric guitars, I don't like to use a high shelving EQ, which boosts this frequency all the way up, as it'll bring up noise in the upper high end that we don't need. So I'm not gonna use this, and instead, Use a band filter or parametric EQ, which focuses on one frequency at a time. We can make it wider or more narrow, holding down the shift key. Just a bit right there, so this guitar cuts through the mix. Before and after. Now let's hear it in the track and adjust its level. As we should be able to bring it down a bit as the EQ makes it more aggressive. Right 
right about there feels good. And like I said, I don't want to add reverb or delay to this, as we're going to have other guitars that wash the track out with those effects. So we're going to keep this pretty dry. Next, we'll move on to the intro guitar, which sounds like this. Now, if we go to the effects on this track, we'll see I used a guitar amplifier, Amplitude 5 and the free version. But it sounds pretty dry right now. And instead of adding a reverb plugin to this, we can use the effects on this amp. There's a spring reverb, which is pretty unique for reverbs. Let's try bringing it up a bit. That makes it sound very different. So you're in the track. I'm kind of liking that, but we can still add some delay and more reverb to this. Let's double click over here. Let's add some delay. I'm going to choose delay with tempo ping pong, which is going to add a delay that moves from the left to the right, like this. Creating a wider effect. And on top of that, we add a reverb. I'm going to choose the reverb which comes with Reaper, so I know you have it. Now this reverb is an impulse response reverb. And Reaper doesn't come with those impulse responses, but you can get some free on the internet. And as I mentioned in previous videos, this website right here, which I'll include in the description below, has a bunch of free ones. So if you download these, you have the same ones I'm using. And I'll go down here, choose Add, Add File, and open up that library we downloaded. I'm going to choose the A plate, which sounds like this. But that's a bit too much, so we'll bring down the wet. Now let's hear that in the track. It's pretty washed out and ambient, but I'm really liking the creative effect. So next, we'll check out the intro guitar too, which is an answer to this guitar. And again, I use an amp plugin on this, but I don't want to add any more spring reverb to this. Instead, we we'll have that same delay right here, ping pong, which sounds like this. <laughs> then we we'll add a reverb to this. Use reverb again, but this time we're going to choose a bigger reverb. Go to File, and I'm going to choose Auto Park, which is a really big reverb, which sounds like this. Let's add some EQ to this. We'll move it before the delay and reverb. We'll change this to a high pass, bring down some mud, and boost the top end. 
for the upper mid-range. Let's hear that in the track with the intro guitar. It sounds very washed out, but I think I'm still liking this effect. Next, we'll work on the verse guitars, which answer the vocals. Notice it pans. If we open up the pan envelope, type P. We can see it pans to the left and to the right a bit as it plays each time. Let's hear it with the vocal. Notice it has a tremolo effect. Let's add that delay and reverb. Notice I'm putting the effects right on the track as I want them to be different. So I'm not using effects sends and returns to different tracks. I'm putting all the effects on the guitar tracks. But this time we're going to choose the file. Large hall. What's any cue to this? We'll move it up here. We'll change it to a high pass. Let's hear that in the track. Let's hear it with the vocal. And finally, we have the chorus guitar, which just happens in the chorus, obviously. Let's duplicate the delay and reverb from the verse guitar and drop it on the chorus guitar. So now we have the delay and reverb already there. Let's add an EQ, put it up here, adjust the low shelf to be a high pass. Again, I'm doing this so the guitars cut through a bit better in a dense mix. Bring up the top end or the upper mids to cut through the track. Let's hear it all together. Now let's hear the whole thing back 
with the vocals turned on and blend it along the way. Now to make the chorus guitar stand out against the vocal, let's make it sound a bit wider. So we'll add a different delay to this. I'm going to use the channel time delayer and put it right after the EQ and change the right side to be about 30 milliseconds. So basically, instead of the guitar being down the middle, fighting with the vocal, it'll now be on the left and right side. In other words, it's now panned to the left and the delay of it is on the right, like this. Notice it doesn't sound in the middle. So when it plays off the vocal, I wanna run. It gets out of the way. Let's hear it again, like this. I think that sounds a lot better. It's very washed out and interesting, but we can still hear all the parts as they cut through with EQ and wash out with delay and reverb. And notice, because the guitars have distortion on them, I don't really need to compress them. So all these guitars are not really compressed, as I don't really think they need to be. So that's pretty much it. That's mixing electric guitars in reverb. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.